Hey everyone, Scooby Doo here, and welcome to my review of the 1 6 scale Hot Toys Yoda figure, which is in this box right here. We'll be taking it out in just a moment, but I just wanted to show you the plethora of things that I received this week. I actually got another uh, FET helmet, so now I have two that I'm going to be working on as far as the FET build. Uh, so, two, I'm not really a big uh, Harry Potter fan, but uh, I did get a Hogwarts 9 and 3 quarters sign there that's gonna be for my Harry Potter section to my movie room so I will be doing some other uh, things uh, regarding the movie room in the upcoming weeks or months also too got these really cool uh, FET signs they're like plaques I'll be going over these on another video this one and this one right here it's really cool got this m and &M. this is actually gonna be a Dagobah planet uh, so stay tuned for that. And then uh, over here, I don't know if you can kind of see in the background way over here, but I'm actually working on the diorama for the 1-6 scale Yoda. So let me go ahead and get the rest of the stuff off the counter, and we'll go ahead and open up the box uh, for 1-6 scale Yoda. We'll be right back. All right, so on to the review of the 1-6 scale Yoda Hot Toys. Viga. Well, there he is. Now, if you know, or if you've seen some of my other reviews, you know I kind of review more of the actual maker, which would be Hot Toys in this case, opposed to the actual figure itself because I don't really get too much into detail with the box or the articulation. The articulation is good. Um, I kind of talk more about what Hot Toys did or what Sideshow did right and what they did wrong. Uh, so we see here some of, uh, we'll talk about his accessories really quickly. You get an extra head sculpt of his eyes closed. Uh, you get this uh, box here. You get this lantern that lights up. You just put some batteries. It does come with the batteries. You get a couple of these rocks. Right here. They also come with little plastic little sticks that you can put into the uh, base to make it look like he's making the rocks hover. And you get his cane. Just nice. You get this little necklace. Uh, I don't know if it's a musical instrument or exactly what it is. But you get that as well. And then you get this really cool bass. Really cool. He doesn't stand on it very well. Um, so it's not really like a stand. It's just a bass. So I'm there. Actually, let's take a look at him up close. He does have real hair in the back. I don't know if it's real hair, but some kind of furry substance. And he does look like Yoda. The detail on the top of his head looks really great. I would say one thing about this figure is when you look at him from further away, he starts to look a little, a little bit less like Yoda. And he definitely, as you get closer, he, you can definitely see the detail. And that's partly because he's so small. Uh, so you can't see all of the details as well from far away. Okay, so there's actually my review is that you should get them. I mean, if you collect all the other Star Wars figures, I mean, you have to have a Yoda, right? Um, and it comes in a basic box, the regular standard, I'm going to say standard Hot Toys box. It also looks a lot like the Sideshow box. And um, yeah, that's it. Now on to the actual review of Hot Toys. Is it really worth the 200 or the 210 that you're paying for it? Nope. Nope, not at all. Now, I think they try to make up for the fact that Yoda's so small. So they try to add this lantern, which I really don't give a hoot about. I don't really care about this box, and I definitely don't care about this base. It looks more like a... $10 fish aquarium stick in the bottom of my goldfish bowl type of item. It's not anything spectacular. Uh, but they did include it, unlike uh, the Hot Toys Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, where you had to pay extra uh, like $20 or $30 to get the Sarlacc base. So I guess, again, they felt since Yoda was so small, they'll just include this really nifty fish aquarium base that he doesn't stand on very well um, but it's not even as good as quality i don't think is the boba fett sarlacc not at all i don't think so 
And you know me, I really don't care about those because I build my own dioramas anyways. And another reason why I don't care for them is basically because they don't give dioramas with all the figures. So if you're going to be displaying a Han Solo or C-3PO or whatever you have in your display case or on your shelf, they don't have a diorama and this one does. And I kind of like everything to have the same kind of feel to it. So uh, that's why I build all of my shelves on my Star Wars wall. So on Hot Toys and what they should have done and what they shouldn't have done. Now you know this is coming because you know I like to rant about this. I've only talked about it a thousand times. As you know, my favorite line from Hot Toys would be the... I just pulled this out of my pocket really quick. The DX series. And if you're familiar with the DX series, you know you got a lot of stuff. You got a really nice collector box. And in this particular one, the Luke Skywalker Bespin DX, what did you do? You got two, two figures. You got two figures in the case. But you got a lot of cool accessories and the Bespin antenna and all that great stuff. Yeah, you paid a little bit more, but you got a lot of stuff. And you got two figures. Two figures. Even Sideshow knew when they came out with the Jawas that hey, they were so small that <laughs> they had to give you two. So this is where I think Hot Toys really, really dropped the ball. Um, not necessarily that they needed to give us two Yodas, but it would have been nice if they could have at least the same kind of box, but maybe had a younger Yoda and an older one. You think maybe that could have been possible? So maybe instead of just two head sculpts, maybe three. Maybe a third head sculpt of a younger Yoda. And one extra robe. And a little green lightsaber. There you go. I would have gladly given this up for a green lightsaber. I would have gladly given this up for a robe. And I would have gladly, most gladly given up this for an extra young Yoda head sculpt. And then that way, you could have choose between either a young Yoda or an old one. And I think uh, the collectors would have liked that better, although I haven't heard a lot of people talk about that and why they didn't include it. But I guess you can have that same argument with a lot of different figures, but definitely this one because he's so small. So uh, definitely a thumbs up. Thumbs up for the figure. Definitely purchase him. My only complaint is, well, one, you know I like everything DX. And two, I, I really think if they would have just included the younger head sculpt of Yoda, gave him an extra robe and a lightsaber, it would have been awesome. So I guess what's coming from Hot Toys sometime in the future is to charge us another $200 and they're going to use just about the same sculpt and uh, just change out the robe and give you a lightsaber. Thanks, Hot Toys. So there we go. If you have any questions or comments regarding this review or regarding Yoda, if there's something that I missed or left out, well, probably I did because I don't really review the actual figures and all the articulation. There he moves. Ooh, I'm Yoda. So now with all that done, we're going to go ahead and switch gears over to the diorama. Kind of slide this over really quickly. Oops, the camera went down. Oh, also too, I forgot you... Did I mention this that you get? Oh, well. Anywho, here's the diorama. It's not completed. I've already been working on it, and uh, I needed to actually wait to get the Yoda to finish it up. Um, but go ahead and take a look at these videos. This will show you how I got to this point right now. I'm also going to show you a little quick video on how to make uh, the Dagobah planet or moon or however, you know, I guess it was a planet. It was a system, I guess, of a bunch of planets or moons. And um, then we'll wrap up the video uh, with Yoda actually on the base itself. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and work on the Dagobah Hasbro play set. Uh, the Star Wars wall, one, it's a storyboard of the original trilogy. And uh, along with using the sideshow and Hot Toys figures and some Metacom, I also wanted to stay with the Hasbro Kenner uh, playset line with all of the other vehicles and creatures 
um, that were from the original trilogy. So I could have easily just made some kind of tree stump or something for the Yoda diorama, but uh, I want to stick to the pieces that came out over the last 10, 15, 20, 30 years. So I actually purchased this on eBay. I was out of the box. Uh, there was a couple items that were broke off of it, uh, but that was okay. So it comes with a base. You can see right here, and I actually already took this part off. So we're going to do some painting. I'm going to add some moldesine to cover up some of the cracks. And also, I think I might use some of this base. I'm not going to use all of it. I'll probably cut part of it um, to make the diorama. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by adding some moldesine. I'll probably uh, fill in some of these slots right here. And there's some cracks up here. That's why I want to use the moldesine. And then we'll start adding some paint uh, to this place set. All right, so I went ahead and uh, did some of the painting on the uh, tree trunk. And as you can see here, I closed up those slots using the moldesine. And I did some preliminary painting on it as well, just to give it some texture. This is just going to be the undercoat. Also, too, I sprayed on the inside. And then I also um, cut the base to fit the uh, actual shelf. Now, I could have just used a bigger shelf and used the whole base. However, uh, I didn't have enough room to actually have that big of a shelf. So I went ahead and cut it. So you can see, like, where there's open areas here. And same thing over here on the side, how I have it open. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take the moldesine and I'm going to pack in this area here in the front and on the sides and then mold everything so it all looks like one piece. And then from there I'll be able to actually work on the base and work on this separately. And then when I get finished at the end, this will actually just snap right into place. All right, so I went ahead and uh, packed in those areas and did some additional painting to the base. Just show you really quickly. See here all that stuff was... Uh, filled in same here on the front and on the other side it's all filled in and then again like I said I put down um, one layer of paint um, and now I'm actually going to go back and do some detailed dry white painting and do some of the greens and uh, make this more detailed work on the stump here that because this is actually going to be inside of his house um, then I'm going to be adding this moss and I got some moss rocks, which are right here. Now, I picked these up at uh, my local 99 cent store. I'm not sure in the UK or other places where you have stores like that, but everything costs about a dollar. And um, I'm going to add that. And um, yeah, then it'll be finished. Now, as far as the actual playset goes, I actually paid, I believe, around like $9 for it on eBay. So this is working out to be a pretty cheap diorama because I got nine one two three about twelve dollars and a couple dollars in paint so yeah about like 15 bucks uh, total to build this um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work again with all the dry painting and adding the moss and then we will see just about the final product with uh, our Yoda 1-6 scale from Hot Toys yeah, it looks a little bit different from the uh, last segment, huh? I went ahead and added the rocks uh, that came with the Yoda set along with the tree in the back. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some uh, dry white painting. Put the spray can. I'm going to just put a little bit of white spray paint on a piece of cardboard. And I'm going to get my brush with a little bit of paint on it. So there's just a little bit. And I'm going to go here and like highlight the edges of the tree stump. You can kind of see that. So I'll be going through and adding some greens and lighten up some of this moss and uh, some blacks and browns. And um, then put the top on will fit right into place when I'm finished. 
So while I'm doing this, since you've already seen me do dry painting before, go ahead and take a look at this video on how I'm going to make the Dagobah planet to go with this diorama. All right, so making Dagobah, we're going to be using an M&M container. It's a little bit larger than the normal ones I use. Uh, I actually used the tin ones to decorate my movie room, and I also used them to make the Sons of Tantooine. So this one's a little bit bigger. I didn't want to use the Uncle Milton's Moon in Your Room. That was a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some um, moldesine. I actually have some in this cup right here. And I'm going to kind of move this around in here a bit, see if that works or if I'm just going to put it on there. Okay, how? It, see how it kind of stuck on there a little bit? <laughs> Didn't do very good. I'm just actually just going to pat this on. Because the M&M uh, logo kind of sticks out a little bit on this one. And I'm just going to move this around and kind of get it to cover up the M&M part. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to give it some texture. And this will actually dry onto the uh, container. Doesn't have to be anything particular. And there we go. That's it. Ta da, Dagoba. No, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to uh, spray paint it with some white primer. And then I'll have my base, and then I'll go in and actually do the coloring to make it. Okay, now that I let it dry and I put on the white primer, you can see. Um, and I added some undercoating color. You can see how it's kind of taking a shape of a planet. Now what I'll do is go ahead and uh, paint the different greens and whites and blues to represent Dagobah. And then it'll be finished. And here we go, the completed Dagobah. Looks very similar to uh, the larger ones that I have. I think it came out well. And we're going to be hanging this up uh, right above the Yoda diorama. So this is now complete. Let's go back over to the diorama and uh, see what we came up with. All right. How'd you guys enjoy those videos on the Dagobah? <laughs> Sometimes I don't know how I come up with the stuff, but I just do. So here's the completed Yoda diorama. You see Yoda there. And uh, the paint job that we did on his little hut or house or tree stump or whatever you want to call it. And then over here, if we look to the side, we have the... Uh, I'll go ahead and lift the camera up a little bit. Got the X-Wing crashed in the swamp here in the back. Now also what's kind of cool or what was going to be cool about it, and actually it did kind of look cool, but I couldn't film it. Uh, because there's a tree stump inside, I actually could use the uh, lantern. And when I stick it inside here, let me see. Uh, put it on the tree stump. Oops. Probably taking this at a wrong angle, but if I put it here in the tree stump, You can't really see it because of the lights, but let me see if I can move this around so you would be able to see it. There you go. Kind of gives the inside a little bit more detail. I actually uh, purchased a little light, a little tea light to put in there. Uh, unfortunately, the tea light also had the switch on the bottom, so I wasn't able to attach it. I, my plans were to put the light up in there and have it like a tap light. So if I wanted to, I could actually light up uh, the inside of his house there. And then here on this side, I I used uh, that tree branch. I just drilled a hole down into the mold scene and then stuck it in there. So there it is, the completed diorama. I would show it to you on the wall, but I'm going to save that for when I do the uh, Star Wars reboot. Um, as you know, I'm going through all of the different shelves and repainting stuff. And then, of course, we'll have the Dagobah planet right above it so you can see kind of what it's going to look like 
So there we go. If you have any questions or comments regarding the review or Yoda or the diorama, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And one last thing about the, uh, the Yoda, me personally, I didn't need it to have the extra head sculpt or the lightsaber because I'm only doing a ri original trilogy Yoda. So I wouldn't even have used it, but I think it still would have been something nice uh, if Hot Toys would have included it, kind of like they did with the uh, Sideshow version uh, of Yoda that came out years ago. All right, there we go. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, and uh, look for the Boba Fett build videos. Those are going to be probably starting in July, I would think, and uh, hopefully the reboot video will come out towards the end of June. And then, of course, we have uh, the Harry Potter and the other stuff that we're going to be doing as well. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.